hostile UAV above. Howdy guys, Ian from Eurogamer here with a video that is definitely not safe for work. Coming up in a second is a compilation of some of the extreme language I witnessed while at the recent Call of Duty European Championships. I spent a lot of my time concentrating on filming a few specific teams and matches, so rest assured the guys who feature in this video are not the only contestants who owe a fair few pounds to the ESL swear jar. They're just the ones I spent the majority of my time filming. Take it away boys! Look at the fucking oh, score! Shit. Look at the score, bitches! Nice team kill. Hey, come on. Right side, right side. Stop dying at me, you're cheating. Look at that. Pretty extreme stuff there, but is it just teenage boys throwing temper tantrums, or is there something deeper and more strategic behind the barrage of abuse? I caught up with Andrew Amaze McClure from the team Farico Dragons and asked him why he had such a naughty little potty mouth. It's it's mind games in a way, and it pushes my team to do better. I mean, I've learned from experiences in the past that when we're hyped up and talking a lot of crap, we play a lot better. I don't know why. It's pretty weird, but. I mean, we just got to do what we got to do to win the game, really. Yeah, thanks for walking in front of my shot, douchebag. And uh, how about the opinions of someone who isn't a competitor, like Sean Childs from Turtle Entertainment, the Cologne-based company who run and broadcast these esports events live over Tinternet. It is a very young uh, uh, industry and a lot of young players in it. So, of course, you know, with that comes a lot of um, uh, openness. It's not policed as, as much as, let's say, other professional sports are, where, you know, somebody is, you know, shuttled away and can't speak to the media after a game or after a bad game. So you get these great emotions. Um, you know, we had um, our event in Poland, in, uh, Intel Extreme Masters in Katowice, and, you know, there was a, a game there. It was a complete um, upset for SK Gaming, and, you know, the emotions on stage and people screaming in the audience, I mean, it's just you can really feel that people are living uh, 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 with these players. It's, it's amazing to watch. So there you go. Before you comment about Call of Duty players being foul-mouthed cretins, just remember that this is a sporting event, and people have always used aggression and shouting to intimidate their opponents. In fact, I'm pretty sure much worse is said on the football pitch or in the middle of a rugby scrum. 
I'm confident that the majority of people watching this video now swear just as badly and probably more frequently when they play games on their own. I know I sure do and I don't have a potential one million dollars riding on my games when I play them. So just put yourselves in these guys shoes and think how you'd act with that much money riding on one Call of Duty match. Thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel by clicking on the on-screen annotation. There's masses of video content coming your way soon, including exclusive interviews and early gameplays and live streams of all of 2013's biggest upcoming video games. They might not have as much swearing in them as this one though, so you'll probably be able to watch them without your headphones in. See you next time! Gets himself a two-piece, it's a one versus four situation. It's gonna fall with three he goes down, but he gets the kill. And we have our European champions, ladies and gentlemen. Some of the best semi-final games we've ever seen on this game.